Today we're gonna to talk about hyperbaric oxygen and diabetes. Is it appropriate to go in a chamber if you have diabetes? Are there benefits for those with diabetes to expect some sort of change uh, from hyperbaric therapy? Those are the kinds of questions we're gonna answer in today's video. So first and foremost, let me just be very clear. When we talk about hyperbaric oxygen with regard to certain conditions, especially in a case like diabetes where it would be considered off-label use, hyperbaric oxygen is not the cure or even treatment for diabetes. However, are there certain changes physiologically that we can expect as a result of using hyperbaric for somebody who has diabetes? The answer is yes. And so here are a few things to think about. Number one, many people who have diabetes, especially advanced diabetes, end up using hyperbaric much later on uh, throughout the process of their disease, primarily because it could lead to uh, non-healing wounds. And so hyperbaric oxygen for non-healing wounds has been very, very well established. There's a mountain of research to justify using hyperbaric oxygen to help improve these non-healing wounds. But then the question is, why did the person with diabetes end up with a non-healing wound? And the answer to that is because of blood vessel disease. Having high blood sugar for years and years and years has this tendency to start deteriorating and destroying small blood vessels. And as a result of losing these healthy capillary beds, what we start to get is hypoxia in certain areas. And because we need oxygen to feed all of these tissues, that hypoxia leads to tissue destruction. And then we get some sort of even small injury to the skin or surrounding area, and now that tissue can't heal because we can no longer deliver a sufficient amount of oxygen to the area. Often it becomes infected, and now it becomes this non-healing wound. And that's the late stage version of when someone with diabetes may end up getting hyperbaric oxygen. If we can just go back in time and look at, are there other reasons, are there other physiological changes that we could expect as a result of using hyperbaric oxygen for somebody with diabetes? Let's talk about a few. Number one, we know that hyperbaric oxygen improves insulin sensitivity. One of the hallmarks of diabetes is insulin resistance. The body might be able to produce insulin, but the cells are no longer responding normally to that insulin. They're becoming insulin resistant. And we know that hyperbaric actually improves the sensitivity. Now, in a hospital setting, in a late stage person with diabetes, that could be dangerous because hyperbaric might increase insulin sensitivity. That patient may be on insulin. And as a result, they could become hypoglycemic in the chamber, especially at higher pressures on 100% oxygen. In a wound care facility or in a hospital setting, they know that in many cases, patients may even receive juice boxes or something like that as a way to boost their blood sugar so that they don't end up hypoglycemic in the chamber. Now, we could also use that in an earlier stage uh, patient with diabetes, understanding that if we can improve insulin sensitivity, number one, we can help them metabolically maybe require even less insulin. And so in a setting where we can actually talk with the patient and deal with diet, exercise, supplementation, hyperbaric oxygen, we could look at this big picture and say, here's another tool that improves insulin sensitivity that we could be using on an ongoing basis to help insulin and glucose metabolism on an ongoing basis, reducing the intensity of the diabetes. We are on a mission to make sure that the people looking for this information have access to it. I know that there's a lot of content out there, and I know that it could be very confusing when people are trying to find the answers that they're looking for, and it's really important for me that those people can find these answers. So when you like it, when you subscribe, and when you share these videos, that helps the people looking for this content know that they're getting a trustworthy source and they're getting the information that they're trying to find. So please do that and help us help other people. Another way we can look at this is to say we know that hyperbaric oxygen helps to heal the endothelial lining, the inside lining of capillaries, and literally helps to regrow capillary beds. In many cases with diabetes, patients have consequences of all of this vascular disease. There could be damage to eyesight. There could be neuropathy. We could even start to develop dementia from the vascular disease. In fact, vascular dementia is being termed type 3 diabetes because we know how consequential blood sugar imbalance can be for brain tissue. So here's this tool, hyperbaric, which we know helps to 
heal the endothelial lining, and grow new capillary beds in patients who we know have endothelial damage and destroyed vasculature and capillaries. So as we implement hyperbaric over a period of time and improve the healing of the inside lining of all of these blood vessels and regrow these capillaries, we can start to see improvements in issues like some of the neuropathy that they're having or even in some of the dementia, as hyperbaric has been shown to improve neuropathy and vascular dementia alike. So hyperbaric oxygen is absolutely appropriate for patients with diabetes. Again, not because we're treating the diabetes specifically, but because hyperbaric on an ongoing basis reduces inflammation, helps to heal damaged blood vessels, can help regenerate nerve tissue or brain tissue, but also helps to improve insulin sensitivity. And so this singular therapy has the capacity to actually improve many of the symptoms associated with this chronic and debilitating disease. So I hope this helps answer some of the questions. We will plug in a few studies with regard to uh, hyperbaric's effect in a few of these areas that I discussed today, just so you have a better understanding of where some of this content is coming from. Thanks again for your attention and we'll see you next video. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.